This is Valvenor. It is not a beautiful place, but for the time being, it seems to be unknown to the Deadwalker army. This village has known better days. Before the war, it was popular among the rich hunters who came to enjoy the ample game in the swamps. Today, the only visitors are refugees, who are sadly too numerous for the scant resources of the village. A small healing house provides comfort and succor to the injured. The knight is quite fond of Mirana, the healer who runs the place. Does the mercenary see the building opposite? It was once an inn, but it is now the residence of the steward, the man now in charge of the village. This is a very large inn, considering the size of the village. There must have been many visitors before the war. With any luck, we might get to sleep in a real bed tonight. How come you talk that way? Always in the third person. The way people speak is different from one place to another. And I am from another place. The Knight's people are a warrior tribe from Algana. And he is proud of them. Where can I find the steward? As the Knight said, the steward is in the old inn, the big building in the middle of the village. What does the steward want with me? The captain has offered the services of the Freeborn Blades to the steward. The steward must have orders for the mercenary. Shit. I'm gonna get stuck being this guy's errand boy. Damn. I knew I should have gone with the rest of the company. What can you tell me about this backwater town? This village is a modest one, and its reserves are almost gone. Its only strength is its isolation in these swamps. That is also its greatest weakness. I already figured it was some kind of shithole. That the refugees and the villagers must live together is difficult. And the situation is worsened by there not being enough food. The swamp offers protection against the Deadwalkers. But it also harbors many dangers. Its creatures often attack the village. When the knight and the elf are not there to defend the walls, the watch often leave them unguarded. Shameless. I'm going. Anybody home?
A good day to you, soldier. I do believe that today is your lucky day. Really? What are you gonna try to sell me? Sell? Oh, now you're trying to make me feel bad. No, unfortunately I have nothing left to sell. Other than some first-hand information that will surely be of use to you. Information? What information? Hey, you know what? Some kind of reward would be appreciated. It's just that with the war, we have so little left. Here, take this. What do you have? Apparently, the Red Scribes have found a way to win the war. They found someone capable of breathing fire who's gonna burn up the Ice Lords just by looking at them. I don't believe it. You took my money for that? You fucking with me? I swear, it's true. Please, we're starving. I'll let it slide this time, but don't you ever try to rip me off again, unless you're tired of using your hands. Right, I'm leaving. Still didn't manage to blow yourself up. Pretty quiet around here, huh? Yeah, too quiet for my taste. Do you really imagine the Dead Walkers are going to forget about this place just because this swamp is dangerous? No, nope. but it'll slow them down. Maybe we'll see them coming. Ha! <laughs> you can bet your ass they're already here. There's something in the air that stinks, and I don't mean the locals either. I feel like the Ice Lords are watching us, right now. I have a few questions for you. See you later. My goodness, let's see. You're not pissing blood, you're not vomiting your guts out. Both legs are in place and they seem to be holding you upright. Congratulations, it looks like you're pulled through. And now you'll excuse me, but I have other miracles to accomplish and not much time to devote to people in your condition. Take it easy there, Doc. I'm with the Freeborn Blades, I'm not one of your refugees. You could be Blackstorm himself, for all I care. Now get out of my way, I have things to do. One of them fucking mercenaries, right? Fucking mercenary, yeah. Sounds about right. You know what I call your lot? Oar blades. And I got no time for oars. At least the whores work. If you got enough money to get trash while you're on watch, they pay you too much. Go fuck yourself, or blade.
Here we go. Another one of these hick refugees. There's nothing for you here. Open your eyes, Smithy. I'm one of the Freeborn Blades. Of course. I'm guessing you have need of my precious services. Alas, nothing that would truly put my talent and virtuosity to the test, I'd imagine. Such is the sad lot of the true artiste in times of war. So, what can I do for you? I need more info about Valvenor. And you have decided that I have a sympathetic face. It's the story of my life. Talent worthy of a king's ransom, but surrounded by cretins who only seek that which is free. What can you tell me about the steward? Oh, don't expect me to say anything bad about Bert Hoff Chambriad. I'm not always in agreement with him, but I can see that he knows his business. And he keeps the village relatively safe. It's not often you see an elf blending in with other cultures. Are there many of you here in Valvenor? To my knowledge, I was the only one. That is, until Prince Arundel and his acolyte arrived. Does that pose a problem for you? Not at all. Well, it does for me. His Majesty the Prince of Imbeciles is going to bring us nothing but trouble. Do you know the woman who runs the healing house? Oh, of course. She's all one hears about lately. Everyone here will tell you that she's a courageous woman fighting a noble battle. Everyone but me. The woman's insane. There are already far too many mouths to feed in this camp. Clearly, she's fully aware of this, yet she stubbornly insists on making things worse. And the Red Scribes? Know anything about them? No, oh, certainly. A boring bunch of fusspots, spreading science and preaching the good word while never suspecting that anyone might see through their little game. Our game? Well, pray tell. Give us the details. Please, give us the benefit of your extensive knowledge. I don't pretend to know about all their little plots. I spend very little time with them, and frankly, I couldn't possibly care less about them. But I am fully aware that pretty speeches serve no better purpose than manipulating minds. They're nothing more than noisy masks behind which hides a reality that is far uglier. The more the melody is sweet, the better it distracts you. And is there anything more disgustingly melodious than the discourse of a red scribe? When it comes to disgusting discourse, you seem to be something of an expert. Let's talk about something else. Show me what you have for sale. Ah, gold. So vulgar to work with. So wonderful to own.
you have returned. What is your desire? Show me what you have for sale. is our best defense. Happily, the wildlife are just as keen on attacking the dead walkers as they are the villagers. But the situation here in Valvanor grows worse daily. And each new wave of refugees increases the risk of drawing unwanted attention to this jungle. No Ice Lord scouts who find this village will ever escape to tell the tale. Of that, I can assure you. Also, my men are reinforcing your defenses. Forgive me for saying, but you have some serious weak points. Especially the defenses around that refugee camp of yours. The arrival of the Freeborn Blades and the Red Scribes has greatly improved our chances of survival, Captain. Believe me when I say that we are most grateful to have you with us. Needless to say, your men and the Red Scribes are welcome and free to go where they will. But as for any other newcomers, our gates are closed. You must understand that our food stores are as limited as our abilities to defend our village. Until you arrived, we had but one person who was even vaguely capable of treating our injured. And the case of Prince Orendale was completely beyond her skills. And there is this beast story, doubtless another fairy tale, the fruit of an alcohol-addled brain. Nonetheless, several of the watch have gone missing. Something hidden in these swamps is causing these disappearances, but we cannot risk sacrificing any more of the few men remaining to us on sending patrols. Large groups entail moving chrysalids that are unmanageable. The others quite simply do not return. <sighs> Silence. If I were to listen to everyone, I would need 10 times the number of men I have to verify the truth of every tale. Enough. You must aid me to do this. I am not able to do that. Your endless wailings are unbearable. In the name of... Vulcan? But by the gods, man, what is... This world is condemned. The cold hath invaded its ground, its souls, and its heart. Yet here you stand, weaving your limbs like fish taken from the water. Miserably shuffling about to conserve the illusion of warmth and life, and not feel the passing of your last breath, while I must endure your wailings and lamentations. Pitiful. Vulcan, stop this nonsense immediately. It is not he who speaks. All the fall to ruin about you. Yet you still bewail your loose bowels and vomitings. You cannot vanquish your dead walkers. No more than you can vanquish their necromancer masters. They draw their power from the very heart of the world. They drink it. They suckle it dry. Your only chance to cleanse what your own hath corrupted is to go to the world heart and liberate it from its servitude. The world heart is a myth. A forgotten fairy tale, no more real than dragons or dwarves. A myth. Continue hiding behind thy puny barricades, and thou wilt soon join thy myths and fairy tales. Cease your pretense. I know you have returned to consciousness. What the hell happened? I was just listening to the steward blabbing away with the captain, and then... 
And then you lost control. I don't know, it's like something in my head zapped me so it could use my mouth. But I was still there, still thinking what I was saying. This is not the first time you have felt this presence manifest itself. No. No, it's been there since the temple. It's also in my dreams. I think... Hmm, interesting. It would seem that your body is host to some other entity. And it is clearly a spirit of fire. No kidding. I got a demon in my head. Something of the kind. In truth, I could not say what it is. Not yet, at least. Don't make me laugh. After all, it's your disciples that let this thing out of its cage, right? That has nothing to do with it. Do you have any idea of the implications of this incident? What? Just because I said some weird shit? Believe me, it's not the first time that's happened. Obviously, you haven't understood. The thing that is inside you, it wishes you ill. There is not enough space inside you for two souls. That demon wants your body. It will control you more and more until it has replaced you completely. Ha! Huh. Thou thinkest I crave the body of a mortal? I am a prisoner here. My place is in the world heart. It will not hesitate to lie to you, to tell you that which you wish to hear, so that you will allow it to consume you. I never asked for this cage. I never asked to be forced to hear my every thought. It is I who have been invaded. It speaks to you? Do not listen to it. Cast it from you. If you do not resist, it will crush your soul. Hey, take it easy. One day at a time, okay? I'm gonna take a walk. Mr. Vulcan, what brings you here? The captain wants me to help your village. You got a job I can do? With our shortages of food and fighting men, our worn-out equipment and the growing lines at the healing house, I cannot deny our village is sorely in need of help. Sadly, I fear that these are not the sort of problems you are used to dealing with, unless I'm much mistaken. Maybe I'll surprise you. So what's the problem with the healing house? Quite simply, Mirana cannot keep up. She spends every waking minute giving out supplies to the refugees and refuses to admit that she cannot help everyone. She thinks she's fooling me. I have heard rumors that her food stock is running low. Unsurprisingly, the crowds outside are becoming restless. I believe they wish to continue handing out our food reserves as though they were unlimited. This is not the case, and thus, it is not an option. So, you want someone to put her down? Why, I never suggested any such thing. I just wish she would see reason, for all our sakes. But I have asked nothing of you. I was merely answering your question. Your guards... How can I put this? At first, I thought they were disobeying orders. Now I think maybe they don't even understand them. If you're stupid and incompetent, you should be digging turnips, not taking care of security. You're beginning to worry me. Is it really that bad? Are you kidding me? The state of their weapons is enough to make you cry. Maybe they'd be good for splitting logs. Personally, I'm not capable of judging the aptitude of our sentries, but their poor results speak for themselves. Doubtless, you should share your observations with Mason, the Chief of the Watch. I should warn you, however, that he is of a somewhat stubborn nature. Wouldn't be the first I've seen. I need the reports about this beast that attacked the villagers. I fear I am unable to be of help. I am still not entirely convinced that it even exists. All I know is that several villagers have vanished, 
One villager is at present in the doctor's care, following a supposed encounter with the said beast. These swamps are crawling with dangers, and there is nothing to suggest anything out of the ordinary. The refugees are always inventing horror stories in an attempt to force us to open our gates and let them inside. It might be worth checking it out. You said you lost one of your patrols, right? That is so. You should speak with Randvol. He was most anxious to go out and hunt the beast down, but we needed him here. Now that we have more able bodies to guard our gates, I imagine he would be keen to pick up the scent once more. We'll talk again later. The Order of the Freeborn Blades is of great repute. The mercenary does honor to its name. The mercenary's powers are both astonishing and fascinating. The knight would like to duel with the mercenary, that he may judge the mercenary's strength. Sure, I can never turn down a good fight. But maybe we should take it outside if we don't want to break everything in here. The knight is honored and bows to his adversary's wisdom. Wait for me here, Sybil. I won't be long. It hopes that his adversary will not hold back his blows. Oh, you can count on it. never before battled an adversary with such power, and he believes that he could be that which is needed to change the course of this war. You fight pretty good yourself. Where did you learn your moves? I can't believe you learned to fight like that in this backwater. 
The knight has traveled far and fought many battles. He has only lived in this village for a short time. What are you doing in the middle of these swamps when you could be making a difference on the battlefield? The knight has fought a great many battles, but he feels he can be more useful protecting those who have nothing left. I have to go. I'm glad we could test each other's mettle. It was fun. Before his adversary rushes off to fight other battles, the knight has a question for him. He wishes to know if the Freeborn Blades would like him to join them. I'm not the one who decides who joins the company, but I can ask the captain for you. He has thought long on it and wishes it would be so. Well, that's great. I'll ask him, but I can't promise you anything.